Welcome back trainers and we're going to be taking a look at Talonflame with this community day move incinerate and we're going to be using Azumarill and Shadow Venusaur somebody said they used it and it was doing well for them we've been using Shadow Venusaur recently and Azumarill is a good Pokemon to use while trying to craft a new Pokemon so we're going to go ahead and test it out and it worked out quite nicely and I'm going to have to say this thing is absolutely incredible here so all of the Pokemon that I'm going to be using are going to be 1495 pretty funny that they're all gonna have the same CP uh, as far as the ideal IVs or the rank for the one that I'm currently using the shiny it is gonna be decent I do have a better one but I just wanted to use the shiny simple as that and this one is gonna be below 100 so once you do get the uh, incinerate vamped up with the flame charge this thing starts getting strong and not only that but the brave bird is gonna be getting stronger that move is just you know ridiculous as it is so uh, at this point i believe they backed out or something like that they just sat there um their whole team was weak to it so probably the case into the next battle here and we're met with a good lead the alolan nine tails are going to be swapping into a mew here we're going to go ahead and throw the brave bird and then go into i do believe the azumarill now i have been using typhlosion with incinerate for a while now and i've gotten used to it it's just I, I need to, you know, get used to it again, <laughs> using it with Talonflame and the current moves that it does have. Uh, but uh, pretty good. It can't take a Rock Slide from Galarian Stunfisk. It is going to get one shot, and it's just as simple as that. All right, so you got to look out for that. Some interesting ways to play around it. If you're the Galarian Stunfisk, you let the first Flame Charge go through and uh, just spam them. They're going to have to burn two shields. So anyways, we're in here with the Venusaur. And we're going to go ahead and take out that Mew there. There is no more shields. We have one shield left. We're going to go ahead and swap into our Talon Flame. And we are going to be shielding this Weather Ball up. It does, you know, it does decent damage. So we're going to go ahead and obviously go for the Brave Bird here. And we should be able to get to the uh, Flame Charge on the Alola Ninetales. And then hopefully KO here. This thing is incredible, guys. I mean, good leads help. Let's, you know, be honest here. Uh, and even if, even if you don't have a good lead... This Pokemon is still very awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and focus on the commentary here up against the Galarian Stunfisk. As you can see, the Incinerates are doing a ton of damage. And when we do go for the uh, Flame Charge, it's just going to make it that much stronger. But when we get hit by one Rock Slide, it's game over. So what you can do is potentially just do as much damage as you can. I don't know, maybe get two shields and then catch or just continue on. But this is how it worked here for me. Uh, just going to go for another one here and just the quick moves alone are just starting to really do a ton of damage as you can see and i'm going to be swapping into my zoom rolls seeing that they use both shields we're going to start building up their energy or our energy so we can uh, be prepared for whatever they do decide to bring in here and it's going to be a venusaur so we're just going to go ahead and go for that ice beam just a regular one still going to do a lot of damage but not putting it into a danger range with the um the zoom roll because of the bubble taking us out and they didn't really farm extra here. So we're going to go ahead and go in with the Talonflame and take them out with the quick moves here. Sludge Bomb is still going to hurt us quite a bit. And we're going to go for the Brave Bird. Almost missed a bubble there. I think I did. And taking them out with quick moves. Looking good. So when you use Talonflame here, there's something to have in mind. And that is the fact that you are extremely weak to rock and you need to have those things covered for sure. Uh, otherwise, having fire and flying is going to be pretty nice if you do not encounter rock types, of course. So up against an Umbreon here, how does this work? Let's go ahead and just throw a flame charge and start vamping up our attack at this time. We don't really want to get off a Brave Bird. Sure, would have done a lot of damage, but that's going to leave us vulnerable with the debuff to our defense. So we're going to go ahead and just go with the flame charge for now. As you can see, we're still doing a ton of damage. Going to shield this up. That would have put us pretty low. Don't want to get farmed down after that so we're going to go for the flame charge again and it's at an even shield situation unfortunately we're going to be swapping with all that attack raised up and they're going to be going into a clefable here we do have hydro pump and let's hope that they do not shield this up and of course they shield it up well they are shieldless and we do have a venusaur that's a charm user so expecting them to throw their energy here what we're going to do is go in with the venusaur farm up a bunch throw frenzy plant and then we'll be loaded up on energy and you already know what venusaur can do when it has energy and shields are down so here we go let's get it so they're doing the charm thing and we're going to be able to get to the frenzy plant not quite to two but we don't really need to worry about that the charms are doing a lot of damage and i just wanted to get it out 
and we have a Lola Marowak. Eh, not the best, but we're still going to be doing a lot of damage. Look at that shadow. Frenzy plant. In comes the Umbreon here. We still have one shield. How are we going to play this out? So they're going to be going for that. And going for a flame charge. Their shields are down. Now, at this point, I was like, ah, I lost. Yeah, I lost. So they throw this in here and they go for Bone Club. Maybe that thought I had more energy. It doesn't take us out. And we're able to build up to Brave Bird and take the win. Yeah, it's getting a little nervous there. I don't think uh, the Venusaur would have been able to actually make it up to another Frenzy plant. But uh, taking the win, the sky does get dark because, uh, yeah, <laughs> we should have lost that one there. So into the next battle, we're met with a Skarmory. Absolutely amazing here. They're going to swap and they're going to be going into an Umbreon. And we're going to go ahead and bring in our Venusaur here. Why not? Are we going to you know, go into Azumarill? Eh, you know, maybe probably would have been a better idea. We don't have play rough and there was a Skarmory. So this is just going to be a better matchup. We're also going to be putting on a ton of pressure here. Taking a decent amount of damage, but these Frenzy Plants are going to definitely scare the Umbreon. It doesn't matter how tanky you are, unless you do have like a, you know, four times resistance or two times or whatever. Uh, so going for another Frenzy here. And unfortunately, of course, they're going to be making it to another charge move. We're going to let this go through. We don't really want to waste two on our Venusaur. We put on the pressure and got a shield out of them. So at this point, we can try to farm down here. They're going to be throwing energy here and this thing... You know, it's not the tankiest around, but it can take hits. It's not super glassy. That's the nice thing about it. All right, so we have some good energy going here. They're coming in with a Swampert. We're going to go straight for the Brave Bird here and then swap into our Azumarill. I think we go... No, no. I thought we are going to go a couple more quick moves. And we still need to look out because they could potentially have Sludge Wave. That's a Shadow. And that would have done a lot of damage, if not KO. They're going to be bringing back the Skarmory. And this is why we like to have Hydro Pump here. So we're going to be doing a ton of damage. But we need to remember that that Swampert is back there. It doesn't have, I don't think, too much stored energy, if none. Uh, but um, we still have Brave Bird, which can take it out. We just need to remember that. So we're going for Ice Beam heal here, building up a bunch of energy. I was contemplating, I was like, how should I let him take me out? Go in and farm down with Talonflame, but we're able to actually get to the Brave Bird on the Swampert here because they did use that uh, energy on the Sludge Wave and we take the win. Let's go. That that Brave Bird does a lot of damage. And when you raise your attack a couple of times, if one time even, I mean, it's still doing a ton. All right, so we had a fantastic lead. They're going to be swapping into a Skarmory. So is this team completely weak to fire here? They're letting it go through and we're actually going to retreat. You know, on second thought, I should have maybe just stayed in here, shielded this up and then farmed down since we raised our attack. We would have had attack up and been looking great here. Realized, figure they're going to come back in here with the shiftry, which is perfectly fine. We're getting that through and they know they can handle that. No problem because the quick moves are not going to be anything to worry about. Saving their two shields for whatever they do have back there. Down goes the Azumarill, which is great. In comes their uh, own Azumarill, and I go for the uh, Flame Charge here, trying to get a shield, and we do. Great, and we're going to go ahead and swap into our Venusaur with two shields. They do have a little bit of an energy advantage going on, but that's okay. We're going to be able to uh, eventually outpace them with the Frenzy Plants. And they're going to be doing just devastating amounts of damage. The quick moves alone with the Shadow Venusaur have already taken it down to half. So we're looking great. And that's only Vine Whip. So we're going to be using that uh, second shield. No problem. Getting to a Frenzy Plant. And taking out the Azumarill. And we have the Shift Tree here. And this is perfectly fine. They can't take us out uh, with the Talonflame. They go for... I don't know. Maybe they figured it was over. I, I, don't, I don't know what's going on here. But good game. And... We are taking the win with the Venusaur there. Fantastic. Into the next battle. <laughs> this this thing is fun. This thing is really fun to use. And we're met with a Deoxys. This is not great because, well, Rock Slide. Uh, who cares about Thunderbolt? Rock Slide is going to be doing a lot of damage because of the fire and flying typing. So we're obviously going to shield it up. And we did not get off any energy. Just going to simply swap into our Azumarill. They're going to be going into a regular Venusaur here which is not something we really want to see. Obviously, they're going to let that go through. Nice move. Don't need to waste that shield here. And they're going to be able to still take us out with those Frenzy Plants. Letting it go through, there's no point to shield that up. Going to come back in with Talonflame and just instantly hit the Flame Charge here just to take them out before they get off a Sludge Bomb because that's still going to hurt us quite a bit. Uh, in comes the Deoxys. And here we go again with the Rock Side. We have to shield this up. Otherwise, we will go down. Getting off a Flame Charge here. And we could have went for a Brave Bird, but we're just going to go for this. We get the shield and just to preserve the energy, swapping into Venusaur. 
And they're going to be going for potential Rock Side. Could it be a Psycho Boost? Okay, Rock Side. So they have Thunderbolt and Rock Side. Uh, we're just going to get off this Frenzy Plant here and take them out. Or they're going to be shielding it up. They want to keep it protected. I wonder what they have in the back here. So shields are down and Talon Flame does have energy. Let's see what we can do. Going to get this off instantly here because <laughs> they're going to get to a Rock Side. And the damage that the opponents are receiving from the uh, Incinerate is very slow. And I didn't want them to get to it. So this is looking pretty good. We're going to be going for this here. Actually, it's not really good. And unfortunately, not quite enough to take them out. And they're going to get off this Rock Side. And that is going to be enough to KO about uh, one and a half Talon Flames, if not two. So into the next battle, we're met with a Galarian Stunfisk. Let's see if our opponent plays it a little bit differently and lets the first charge move go through so you can see exactly how you should potentially play when you run into one of these if you're using a Galarian Stunfisk. So going for the first one here. And there you go, letting it go through. And they're going down. All right, so... <laughs> The, I, I ran into somebody who actually was able to get off another rock side there. But anyways, they're going to be bringing in a Mandibuzz. And we're just going to go and start building up our attack even more at this point. And let this go through, no problem. And going for another one here. You know, just, you know, just building up that energy. Put it on the pressure. Okay, getting a shield. Great. And I'm not really too worried about anything because I have an Azumarill back here to handle this Mandibuzz. So they're going to be taking us out. Great. We're going to just instantly throw in an Azumarill. They're going to be swapping into Toxicroak. And we're going to go right into our Venusaur here. Frenzy Plant from a Shadow is going to still hurt it quite a bit. Frenzy Plant from a regular one is also still going to hurt Toxicroak because it's Frenzy Plant. All right. So going for the Sludge Bomb here. Taking us out. We let it go through. We still have one shield left. And we have to call this. Are we going to shield this up? Letting it... Oh no, we're going to shield it up. Yeah, that's probably the better play because they have no more shields left to just take out the Toxico farm down. Got a ton of energy on our Azumarill here. In comes Mandibuzz, there's nothing they can do. So yeah, if I didn't shield that up, that would have been quite dumb. So great, taking the win. <laughs> All right, moving it on to the next battle here. If you are enjoying these battles, give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy your talent flame. And we have another fantastic lead with the Alolan Ninetales. Getting ready for that swap. Looks like they're going to be staying in here. Weather Ball, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and let it go through. It does a decent amount. So it's not like you can sit here and tank a bunch of those or anything. But the pressure is still on for them as well with your quick move as well as vamping it up with the Flame Charge. So they're going to be swapping into Azumarill. We're going to go ahead and go for the Brave Bird if they want to use two shields. Fantastic. We're going to go ahead and go into Venusaur and we're at a great advantage here. So we're going to simply shield this up, build up to two almost, or maybe two uh, Frenzy Plants. I would suspect they're going to throw in their Alolan Ninetales, and we're going to go ahead and go for the Sludge Bomb. Actually, no, we just go for the Frenzy Plant. We don't need to go for no Sludge Bomb. I think it's already low enough. So we're going to simply shield this up, get off this Frenzy Plant instantly here. We don't want to mess around in case they're able to get off another Weather Ball, though I don't think they had enough energy to do that anyways. They have a Togekiss in the back, so yep, Poison definitely loves to see this team here. Going to go for the Sludge Bomb and take the win with the Venusaur. Put it in work. That Shadow Venusaur is just, you already know. We've seen it. This thing is amazing. Into the next battle, we're going to be met with a Swampert. So we need to get the heck out of here instantly. And we're going to go ahead and throw in our Azumarill here. Because, well, if we put in our Venusaur, they're absolutely going to swap. And let's just hope they get off a charge move and then swap. So we can line them up later on. That was a lot of energy here. They could be baiting me. And it is a Sludge Wave right away. So great. And there's the Bale. And they're going to be throwing in the Obama Snow, which is also great because Talonflame will love to see that. But here's another fun fact if you haven't faced it yourself. But Talonflame going up against Obama Snow is still going to take a lot of damage from uh, Weather Ball. As simple as that. I mean, it is part flying. So you're also going to be doing a lot to it as well because your fire is just completely destroying it. Uh, so we have a little bit of health left. We're going to let it go down. They're holding on to one shield. Going to farm down with <laughs> Venusaurus. So I guess that's pretty good. They're throwing in their Hypno here. And I don't know about this battle. Going to get off this Frenzy Plant. Doing a lot of damage. Swapping instantly. And trying to do as much damage as we can. And uh, going to let this Thunder Punch go through. Holding on to the shield. In comes the Swamper. And you know what? Why, why would I go Brave Bird, you know? Yeah. Are we going to be able to actually get to another one? Okay. Wow. Yes, we are. Beautiful. Absolutely. So I'm sure they had a Hydro Cannon ready, but they needed to get to two. They realized that because we do have a shield and 
yeah, simple as that. So into the next battle, we're met with an Alolan Marowak, and this is actually decent for us. Uh, Shadow Bone Hurts, uh, and also Shadow Ball. Uh, Bone Club, not so much. You don't really need to worry about that. So we can take that kind of nice, but you can't take two. The Brave Bird is going to hurt them quite a bit. They are using a shield. Of course they are. So we're going to go ahead and swap. And as soon as we do swap, they go into their own Vigoroth here. And we're looking fantastic. They've used a shield. We don't really need to use any shields here. And I do believe we're just going to go straight for the Hydro Pump. Since they've already used a shield, I don't think they're going to be obligated to use one right here. Absolutely. They're able to get in one more Body Slam before they do go down. And we're going to be able to finish them off with just a nice little farm there. Building up our Ice Beam that much more. In comes the Amarowak. And is this going to be Shadow Bone? Yes, it is. Taking us out, not playing any games. Going in here with the Talon Flame and a Bone Club won't take us out, but we're still going to be shielding up, and it is a Bone Club. Nice bait there. They're swapping. We have a ton of energy on our Talon Flame. I mean, I think we're at 100 energy there. And we're going to be going into our Venusaur as soon as they bring in their Azumarill. Letting this go down, bringing in their Alola Marowak, and looks like they're going to try to play around this here. Going to let this go through, not taking us out, and we're getting to a Frenzy Plant. This is going to do a lot of damage. So at this point, we don't need to worry about getting off a uh, Brave Bird. Or actually, yeah, let's go straight for Brave Bird. Why wouldn't we? Shields are down. Let's hit it. So I really can't wait to use this thing in the Ultra League. It's going to be a lot of fun. I haven't made an XL one because I'm waiting to do a Lucky Trade to see if the IVs are going to turn out nice. I unfortunately wasn't uh, one of the people who found one of those shundos. There's so many people getting shundos. So we had a great lead. They're going to be swapping into their Alolan Marowak. And since we do have Hydro Pump, this is great here. Let's see if they do want to shield this up. If they do, I'd be surprised because, you know. All right. Well, there you go. They shield it up. Great. Uh, now at this point, we're just going to simply go for the Ice Beam because we don't need to go for Hydro Pump. The bubbles are doing enough damage. This is not going to KO by any means, but it's going to bring them low enough. And they know exactly the game plan by letting it go through. Very nice. And a Shadow Bone. And now our defense has just dropped. But what we're going to do is shield this up. Oh, yeah. Well, no. We're going to win swap here. That's fine. That's our first shield. No problem. And I'm not trying to do anything with this Azumarill. Getting off another Ice Beam is going to be pretty nice, though. So let's go ahead and do that onto the Obama Snow. Doing about half damage on that Shadow. And this is going to be the last battle, as a matter of fact. And I did swap out the Venusaur for Toxicroak just for the heck of it. And this is actually a pretty good position to be in for the Toxicroak. Since we're ahead, we're not going to play any games. We're just going to go straight for the Sludge Bomb here. Fantastic. And I do believe we do let this go through. An Ice Beam, fine enough. And don't think we can counter down. Going for the Mud Bomb here. This is going to be pretty close. The Azumarill is going to survive barely. Oh yeah, barely. We have a shield left, so that's fine. So at this point, we're able to build up more energy, and we're going to be able to KO that Obama Snow no problem here. If you did enjoy it, give it a big thumbs up, and thank you for watching, and take care, trainers.